What's going on guys? My name is Ben. How are you guys doing today? What I have for you today in this video is a recap of Samsung's Unpacked event that was taking place at Barcelona, Spain. And well, currently I couldn't watch the event because I tried looking it up on uh, Samsung's mobile's YouTube channel. Said the video was too long, therefore it was taken down, so hopefully they'll get that back up and running. So uh, let's go ahead and get into the recap. Excuse me, you see me looking down on the screen right here because I did take notes uh, when reading about it. So let's start off with the first thing that uh, I guess was the first thing they announced. I didn't see the conference yet, just so you know. Uh, they announced the new Galaxy S6. So we currently have the S5. They just announced a new S6 and apparently they put a new design to this. It's made out of aluminum with glass and there's no, no any bit of plastic on it. At least that's what I've read. Normally, you know, Samsung's phones in the past have been plastic, and a lot of people you know, didn't really like that much. Me personally, it didn't really matter as long as the phone felt great, and you know, you know it, it, I got a grip on it. That, that That's all I care about, and me personally, the fact that it had plastic it wasn't a big deal to me, but the good thing is it's more durable now, and it has Gorilla Glass 4, although... One thing I find very interesting was that there is no micro SD card slot and no removable batteries. So if you wanted to expand your storage like you could before or remove your battery or replace it if you needed to, those days are done. You're pretty much using an iPhone but as an Android device made by Samsung. Now, not talking about the operating system or anything, just about how the phone operates in terms of expansion memory and battery. Um, but TouchWiz has been improved, I guess from what I've read about it, was they took off like uh, a lot of the Samsung uh, def default stuff in there that a lot of people I've read did not like. And as far as wireless charging is just concerned, they implemented two standards in there called WPC and PMA. And because of that, this phone contains a 2550 milliamp hour battery and it has an improved fingerprint scanner. So all you have to do is, let's say you have your fingerprint scanner right here on the home button, all you have to do is touch it versus having to swipe your finger down like you would find on the Galaxy Note 4 and I believe the S5, not 100% sure on that. I know the Note 4 was like that, but that was an awful fingerprint scanner in my opinion. And they did it this way just like how Apple did it. Because of this new fingerprint scanner, they implemented this thing called Samsung Pay, which is basically their style of Apple Pay for making mobile payments. And Samsung Pay will be launching at the second half of this year. The Galaxy S6 features a 5.1 inch QHD Super AMOLED display with 550, I mean, excuse me, 577 pixels per inch. And this contains a Exynos 7 series processor running Android 5.0 Lollipop. Cameras concerned, 16 megapixel camera for the back with optical image stabilization as well as a 5 megapixel front facing camera. This contains 3 gigabytes of RAM. This is available in 3 different models of course along with the multiple carriers it will be released on 32, 64, and 128 gigabytes. And this features ultra power saving mode S Health 4.0 and they're going to shoot this phone allowing you to set the themes and then you can pretty much tweak the touch wiz the way you like it. And it's offered in multiple colors, white and black as usual, but they're also offering it in gold and blue. And Samsung will be releasing this on April 10th of 2015. Alright, let's talk about another thing that Samsung announced and this is known as the S6 Edge. So, if you guys remember from Samsung's um, event last time when they announced the Note 4. They also announced a phone called the Note Edge which is basically where uh, the right side of the screen was curved. Well apparently the Galaxy S6 is pretty much, I mean the S6 Edge is pretty much the same thing with a 5.1 inch display uh, with a resolution of 2560 by 1440 pixels except the curve is actually on both sides of the screen so it's not just the right side it's on both the left and the right. This contains an octa-core Exynos 7 series processor with 2600 milliamp hour non-removable battery just like the 
a traditional Galaxy S6. 16 megapixel a rear camera with optical image stabilization, 5 megapixel front facing camera, 3 gigs of RAM, again available with 32, 64, and 128 gigabytes with no micro SD expansion. And they did away with that too. Android 5.0 Lollipop with the updated TouchWiz, and this implemented both the wireless charging standards with the updated fingerprint sensor, will have Samsung Pay, and this will be available in white, black, gold, and emerald green. I did check out the emerald green online and it looks pretty nice and this will be launched on April 10th but the cost by the way the cost of both this one and the original or the, the traditional Galaxy S6 was unknown in terms of the pricing but uh, eventually the carrier is just going to give us that information now I couldn't find a photo for this one to show you guys because it just showed the original one I'll probably have to look harder for that but they announced a new gear VR for the S6 and the S6 Edge they're calling this the call uh, gear uh, excuse me they're calling this the Samsung gear VR innovator edition it's 50% smaller than the original model and it's supposed to be more comfortable with the uh, redesigned straps with an improved weight balance and ventilation and it has its own USB port so that way you can charge it as far as the dimensions are concerned it's 196 by 107.9 by 82.9 millimeters with the accelerator gyrometer and proximity detection when mounting and unmounting the gear VR and this has a 96 degree field of view and of course the release date is unknown as well as the pricing is unknown so that's pretty much my recap for the uh, these three devices, uh, but I believe the uh, one that was most hyped for was the two new phones that was announced, the S6 and then the S6 Edge. So what do you guys think about these two devices? Uh, go ahead and leave your comment down below. Uh, that was my recap of Samsung's Unpacked event. I gotta find a way to watch that event. <laughs> So hopefully they'll get that up and running somehow. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.